Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. It's Mill Move 5. Time to get these feet off and get them put in the pits where they belong. And then see about getting this table unloaded. So, I've got my three ton Yale chain fall back on the crane hook. So I'll have to pull 60 miles of chain to move these light pieces. They probably only weigh a ton or something like that. So, let me get up there and see if I've got this balance good enough to get it picked up and get it over here and get it in the floor. We get to find out the fun and does it fit.
Well, it is sitting on all the bolts there, but uh, I'm gonna have to do something to get them to come up through the studs. Uh, I didn't have these filled underneath, so they wanna just keep dropping down versus what I did on those there. I should have spray foam filled these too to keep them up, but uh, I didn't take the time to do that, so now I have to come up with something different. I have to wrap wire around them and pull them up or do something to get them up there. Uh, but I'll get that figured out. For now, I just need to get the other one moved and get it in that pit over there. Then it'll be time to take the table off. Got the pits in place, like Vanna White. So, it's time to get the table off the trailer. And there it is, down there. So I'll show you how I got it slung. So I've got my straps around the outboard table supports. And my idea is to just pick this thing up, swing it off the side of the trailer, roll it down there to the end of the building and set it on the floor. I'm not gonna put it on the mill yet because I gotta clean it all off, clean the ways, uh, clean all the oil grooves out on this, maybe cut some more grooves in it and pull the shafts off of it and get everything lined up and uh, try and get this thing put back together. I do know that the riggers that moved this out of the building said there was some kind of problem with one of these shafts. They couldn't get it out of the machine down there on the end. Out of the pin can't, couldn't get out or boogered up or something or something here. Uh, they didn't take it apart like they were supposed to for whatever reason. So I'll have to figure that out and try and get that fixed up before I put it back together. But there's still there's a lot of Gotta get this all cleaned off and get it leveled up. Uh, we're right in that time of year where the temperature changes 20 degrees plus every day, right through the dew point. So everything sweats like crazy. I'm gonna try to uh, avoid having any issues with that. So I don't want to clean all my rust protection off here just to have this thing all rust up on me. So I'll just kind of do this a bit at a time until I get it done. But uh, let's see if I can get this table off.
All right, trailer's unloaded. I uh, went ahead and loaded the railroad track up that's extra for the shop expansion someday, maybe. To get it out of here, it won't be laying on the floor. Get that cleaned up. Got all the mill mounts uh, for what they had where it was not in the pits. Load on the trailer, get them out of here. Some more floor space to walk around. And got my little chain fall back on the hook for pulling these shafts in and out for me working on this thing and trying to get it fixed up. And then I'll have to pick this back up and get that on there, but I need to get the feet leveled first. Get the mill leveled and the feet leveled. So that'll be next is uh, working on starting to get this thing lined up and recess like it's supposed to. And then I get to find out how close it is to fitting. I think I'm pretty close because that's that foot there. Looks like it lines up with that runner pretty close. The other side over here, and it looks like it's also lined up pretty decent. And that looks like it's lined up pretty decent. So I think I can get this together anyway. I might have set this closer to the middle than I should have to get them out of there. I don't know. Uh, well, that one there's loose. It's not in the socket down there, so I may still have hope of getting these out of here without having to roll that back. But if I do, it's on roller, so I think I probably can take a pry bar and scoot it back if I have to. Well, that's it for the mill move. So, Bailey's come and done the walk through on it and I guess he's satisfied because he's heading back to his bed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.